Hey guys, welcome to Cricket Fanatics Magazine. This is your daily show. I'm your host, Khalid Moeden, and this is the show where we talk about all the major talking points in South African cricket. So today I had an interesting conversation with Enoch Nkwe, and I wanted to get some insights into how the Proteas are feeling right now with everything that is happening, and also how the culture camp went from a Proteas management perspective as well. And I wanted to learn a little bit about his relationship with Mark Boucher and what that is like. We also did a lot of talking about his career and what lessons you can learn from his career as well as his managerial and playing career and some of the stories he went through. But that interview, part of the interview, I'm going to give to you at a later stage. What I thought I'm going to show you is because we need to drive some positivity into cricket again. Um, I gave a suggestion that maybe we should start a tournament where there's three teams that can play against each other. Enoch gave us some insights into that, that there was some kind of an idea that they did want to do before the India tour and give fans an opportunity to see that. But um, those things obviously had to be cut short with everything that has been going on. But he does give us some insights into the into where the Proteus are as a team right now and why us as a fan base need to stay positive. So without further ado, here's my interview with Enoch Nkwe. Uh, now, the way forward for South Africa, we know that everything that's happened in South Africa at the moment, and there's a lot of negativity, and us as a publication are trying to find the positives in it. We did all podcast on our podcast on the, last night about the positives that we can take out of this. You've yeah. had your culture camp with the Proteas. Um, and as a team, um, how you, have you guys spoken about how you're going to move positively forward? And... Um, because ultimately, the fans want to see cricket again. And I know that with everything that's happening, we don't know at the moment where cricket is going to be going in South Africa. But um, as a team, have you spoken about how we're going to take cricket forward? Um, the attitude, the, the the positivity that you bring in, in the dressing room, etc. How, how are we going to jump out of this? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, the, the cricket cult, uh, the culture camp was superb. It was awesome. I think it was something um, we needed as well. And I mean, it came at a perfect time with, with everything that's been happening. And it was always planned, to be honest. It was always planned. It just obviously with the whole COVID situation, we needed to sort of, you know, postpone it and, and, and reassess and see where we can fit it in. But then, obviously, there were a lot of things started to sort of come out and 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 in our cricketing space. And and fortunate enough, um, with the government obviously uh, lessening the the the, the lockdown, um, it gave us an opportunity, a window where we can actually now stage this camp, and um, and we're able to really go into uh, into into the deeper issues that that we believed. Um, it, you know the the. They've been holding back the team in, in 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 pressure situations, for example, and how we can actually overcome that. But you know, without you know, before moving into obviously the performance side of things, and we needed to really you know ask ourselves some tough questions and deal with ourselves from a human element, which yeah. uh, which was brilliant. Um, I just thought you know, walking away. I mean, for about two and two to three days, we we really dealt with a human element, which was so powerful, and we we're able to come up with with a strong base, strong foundation that we can actually take forward. That will help in, in, in driving the performance out of things so that we're just able to focus on that. You know, that was brilliant. I mean, from the work that was, that was put in by Volvo, you know, um, obviously Mark, um, um, myself and, um, and the facilitators and, and just to create, creating that environment where players can really um, be honest with each other and I have those robust conversations and um, and 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 I mean the, the high performance team was also there was involved um, you know because we we really felt we need to create a lot more transparency uh, a lot, mm. lot more a uh, lot more honesty in in if we're gonna drive this new system forward uh, the new culture um, that will we believe that it will help us uh, to get back to where the proteas belong and help us win um, World Cups in the future. So, and, but I mean, it was superb. I mean, we, <laughs> there's so much, you know, you can talk about just how yeah. positive it was and it just gave us great energy um, and, and belief in us going forward. So all we need now, I mean, we just want to, we want to get back into it. We want to get back yeah. on the field and regroup and and all the things we've spoken about, the blueprint that we've put together. You know, we want to put that into into test and into action. 
and and see where we can fine tune certain things and, and see how we can actually grow that. Um, yeah, and I mean, guys were brilliant. Um, and not only players, but also the management team as a whole uh, were brilliant. Um, and how, you know, for the first time, um, you know, we've as coaches as well, we we've had to learn to listen, listen to the players, and and just observe. It's been yeah. very, really powerful. I mean, there were very strong voices, and and I mean, this is a very very exciting group of players that we believe they will take South African uh, South African cricket forward, despite with all the noises, all the all, all the uh, distractions happening outside. But yeah. from a team perspective, from a from a, a almost can say from a cricketing operations, uh, the high performance and the pro tiers, I mean, we're in a good space. It feels good. I'm not saying that things are just going to fall into place and, yeah. and 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 everything will just free flow. No, no, no. There's still a lot of hard work that we need to put in and we and to ensure that everything works well. We're all in synergy, not only the pro tiers, but the high performance, the franchise, the provincial, um, and the school system, you know. I mean, that's gonna take some time. And I just yeah. hope that the the public, everybody else, you know, can uh, can be patient with the process because it's you know, systems like this are not just built in one day or over a year. I mean, they sometimes they take three to five years. Um but there's no doubt with consistency and 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 us as human beings keep growing in this game um there's no doubt that we'll we'll achieve uh big things in the future mm. and of course one of the main positives for me was the fact that Malibongwe Maketa as well as Shukri Conrad being such a influ- influential people in the cricket arena to the positions that they've had hold right now, the responsibility that comes with that, I think they're the perfect people for the job from my perspective because for Shukri, I've heard so many youngsters. I mean, I chatted to, for my daily show, I chatted about the two appointments and I and I got Matthew Bretzky and Reynard Fonton, the two young talents that um, you guys maybe have to keep your eye on over there for the future. I'm a big fan of them. <laughs> so um, <laughs> um, they, they maybe gave some insights into um, Shukri as a coach and what they taught them at such a young level. And I think at that level, he's under 19, it's almost the perfect person to be able to give them that mental toughness from a young age. What is your what is your uh, uh, thoughts about that two appointments? Um, especially obviously Malibongwe and and Shukri at that levels. I think uh, it's brilliant. I think there were uh, fantastic appointments. Uh, I mean, look, yeah. I've worked with Shukri as a player. Um, yeah. You know, I haven't <laughs> had the opportunity to work with him as a coach, but from a, as a player, I mean, I can I can I can say that you know he's he's tough, but he, he loves the game. He cares about individuals. Um, there's no better space for him to be operating at. Uh, especially at under 19 level, because mm-hmm. I remember when I was 19, I just remember his his just his his old school approach, which I think is needed now than ever. Um, I think uh, it's needed yeah. now, especially with everything that's happening and with with the with the generation that we have now. Um, I think that's that's really needed, and to still be able to retain him in a system, I think it's it, it goes a long way. I think that's going to have a really positive impact. Um, you know, at that level, you know, I mean, I mean, Lawrence has done has done a great job. Um, you know, it's unfortunate that obviously he was not able to win the World Cup, but um, I, I mean, he 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 tried certain systems. Mm-hmm. Uh, some worked, some didn't. You know, he he's been in a system for a long time. He's made a huge impact at different levels. You know, and 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 being not being able to retain him and being able to retain Shukri, I think you know, it, it's just really going to help the system move forward. Mm-hmm. And I mean, moving on to Mali. He's been part of the Proteus international. He was in the international circuit to still be able to retain him and McKenzie. I think that just makes it a, a good, a, a solid group of guys in a high yeah. performance that really uh, have South Africa at heart, and they they'll they'll do whatever it takes to ensure South Africa moves forward. You know, we we transform in a way that um, we can be you know leaders in in world cricket, um, and that will, can help us also uh, and win a World Cup at some point. You know, hopefully. Mm. Hopefully next year. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, but if it doesn't happen, I mean, there's still a lot of time. Um, I mean, for us, it's 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 huge. Obviously, if you know, we can win the the main World Cup. But it's not just about just winning World Cups. I think it's getting the right system in place and producing mm-hmm. the, the kind of players that you know that 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 we believe can win. You know, can dominate world cricket in the future. And I really yeah. understanding the system and being able to all work as one in ensuring that 
the game of cricket is very strong and, and it keeps growing in this country. So, mm. I mean, those appointments for me, I mean, flip, I mean, I know there's, 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 there's a loss out there, but these are guys that have been in the system, understand it, and are, are prepared to, to, to transform it and make it better. Um, I mean, we do need, you know, that sort of experience in, in our coaching capacity. And we have a lot of franchise, solid, great uh, franchise coaches as well uh, from in a provincial. And, and we're going to be having even probably, you know, consultants moving forward um, that will be adding a lot more to our system to ensuring mm -hmm. that we move in the same direction. So, so yeah, I mean, Shukri's appointment, uh, Mackie um, and Mali, for me, those you know the yeah. best i think we, we we could have asked for yeah so i only got two more questions left for you and the one is just on we know that you and mark Boucher are almost like from from the fans perspective it was like the dream team you know like the two championship managers basically <laughs> it's like having joseph and you know, so alex ferguson together <laughs> at the home, in a way. um you know like a lot of people would say that maybe um and um what did you learn from I know you guys are probably learning, probably learning from each other because you play maybe different styles of cricket. You could you could say um, um, I always saw the, your your teams playing a very aggressive attacking style of cricket it was very very amazing to watch. Um, what have you learned from Mark, and and what do you think is special about your relationship um, in the Proteus setup? Yeah, look, myself and Mark. I mean, we we complement each other very well. Um, I mean, I mean, obviously, I'm more of a you know structure. Um, uh, big picture type of guy and um you know he's more of a, a hands-on um you know like a bulldog you know i just push the guys and obviously you know i mean we from i think we both strong characters in different ways um you know we have one vision that's 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 awesome i mean we you know the language we actually speak is the same you know, yes, we might be doing things a little bit different. I think that's needed in forming a great partnership. You know, you're not gonna if I if I had to use a sort of a cricketing analogy, um, you know, if or an example. Um, I mean, if you look at a perfect example, I think from something that everybody has seen, it was you know seeing Quentin de Kock and and uh, and and, and Temba Bavuma putting mm. on that. 100 plus partnership in Newlands, just their styles are so different, but yet they complemented each other well. One is ultra aggressive and the other one is, is not, but he's aggressive in, in a different way, you know, so yeah. two, two different skill sets, but they complement each other well to form a strong, strong partnership and, and, and success. So I'm hoping that one day myself and Bouch can look back and say, what a great partnership and look, we've, you know, we've won the World Cup or we've got Sarika from this position to, to being uh, well leaders um, uh, or, or, or dominating world cricket, you know. So, I mean, there's, there's so many aspects that we complement each other. But at, you know, at the same time, we, you know, one big thing is that we, we, we speak the same language in terms of where we're going, what we want to achieve and how we want to go, how we want to go with, uh, with the team and, and our beliefs and that. So, and, and that will continue to grow. I mean, we communicate. Um, constantly and 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 uh, can we think of different ideas you know how do we get to to work on simple things but giving it a chance to to really grow and reach a mastery level you know it's just just basic stuff and um yeah and we've i really felt you know it's, it's just a pity that with the covid because I, I really thought our yeah. relationship was really growing beautifully i mean you look at how we ended the season mm. and and we're really looking forward to the next camp in april yeah. and then the Sri Lankan tour, just sort of carry on with that momentum, you know. But but again, COVID gave us an opportunity to really learn about each other on a, in a in a in a you know a on a different thing. in a different mm. space, and and we've done that, and we just continue to grow. I mean, obviously, we also can't wait to get back on the field and sort yeah. of reconnect properly and and do what we're really good at and that we really enjoy. Um, yeah, and I mean, there's 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 a massive room for our relationship to even get stronger, and we we strongly believe it will, especially now yeah. with with the system that we've we've all put together. Um, it really excites me. Yeah, look, yeah, when I look forward, I'm like, Phew, you know, this is we can really champion this. Um, yeah. it's exciting. It's not going to be easy. Um, it's going to be challenging, and it's, you know, at times our relationship will be challenged um but that's what we want and something we're not scared of is a challenge you know we, we we look at a challenge in a positive way we look to 
to thrive under under pressure, under challenge. And that's something he has done, obviously, in his playing days. That's something you know I've done in my first class cricket, and um, and we've taken that into our coaching. You know, it has worked out in different ways, and that's something we want to take now into into mm. the, the pro tier space and 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 help this team grow to new levels. Yeah, just leave the fans with some positivity. Just one message that you can give to them, so that they can stay positive in the storm mill that's happening at the moment. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, to everyone, um, I know it is it is testing times, tough times, but um, there is great hope, you know, in terms of our cricket going forward. You know, things will be resolved uh, in time, uh, but uh, don't worry about our our cricketing space from a pro tiers, from a franchise, and so forth. High performance, you know, we we're doing a lot of good work behind the scenes. Uh, I mean, Graham, Edu, you know, Graham, Edu Koza, you know, the guys are, are really grafting hard behind the scenes to ensuring that that structure, you know, is, it remains as strong as possible. That we also from different levels as us as coaches, as management, I mean, Volvo, including Volvo himself, you know, we're working hard to ensure that, you know, we are ready for 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 the upcoming season. Um, and we are really excited. You know, all we need is just for you as fans to remain as, as positive as possible. Um, just like in every business, you know, there's there's a lot of lows and there's a lot of ups. And when when we get ourselves on the up, I know that we guys are going to be behind us. But also, please get behind us um, in this in this challenging times. Um, in no time, things are going to start looking a lot better. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you got a lot of insights with regards to this. I hope I did my job once again and giving you some amazing insights into the life of cricketers and now on this cage, a cricket coach. Great. Guys, before you go any further, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the notification bell for future uploads and future videos. We need you to share this so that obviously more people can see our videos, of course, and you can spread the positive message because we really need to spread the positive message and keep people in love with the game of cricket. Don't forget to like the video as well because obviously that's how we get into recommended feeds on YouTube as well. And comment because this platform is here for you to be able to give your point of view. Don't forget to download the latest issue of the magazine. The link is on the screen and in the description. We've got three issues available. We're working hard on the fourth one. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon.